Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this episode, I'll be teaching you how to make the Sicilian dessert called Bianco Nero. This is the beignet recipe. Um, you can click on the screen right now, the little card, and I'll show you how to make the beignet from scratch if you're interested. Otherwise, you can just buy them from the store, the little profiteroles. I'm starting off with my cream here. I'm adding in the vanilla extract and my caster sugar. I'm going to beat that with a whisk on high speed for about two minutes or until I get nice stiff peaks. And this will be the filling for our beignet. So I'm using a metal tip here just to stab through the bottom of there of the profiteroles and fill it up. And you'll notice it's filled when it's um, expanding a little bit and it's also weighed in your hand. And then I'm adding in my Nutella and I'm sifting, well, you should really be sifting in your cocoa flour. I've just chucked it in here, but do sift it. Ends up a lot nicer that way. And I'm gonna beat that through until it's all incorporated. And this will be the outside coating of our beignet. So I've got a food safe glove on and I'm dipping in my filled beignet balls or profiteroles, making sure they're all completely coated so just keep um, folding that through the cream. And then once you have four balls you can assemble them on a five inch little cake board here. And I'm assembling them in a triangle and then adding a fourth ball on top. If you find that there's any spaces that aren't covered, I'll just go back in and add a little bit of cream. You can't tell the difference. Then to decorate those, I'm adding in some chocolate that I've grated using a, um, a food processor. Or you could just really grate it using a cheese grater as well. Next, I'm going in with some white chocolate in a disposable piping bag. And I'm just running it back and forth, making sure to get it on the uh, little profiterole balls and also on the board. I think it looks more professional that way. And before the chocolate's set, you can just rub off along the edges and clean up your little board. To achieve a thicker line, you wait for your chocolate to cool a little bit and you'll also move it back and forth much slower and that'll result in a much thicker chocolate line. Again, clean off the board and you're sweet. Bianca Nero. If, uh, for those of you who don't know, Bianca Nero translates to black and white. Uh, white being cream on the inside, black I guess being the cocoa chocolate on the outside. And this is a really, really beautiful combination. It's oh, amazing. And it takes like 20 minutes of your time if you were to buy the beignet from the store. If you were to make the beignet yourself, you'd be adding probably another 40 minutes, but homemade, store bought. Mm. If you like, you can subscribe to this channel. I put up a new video every Tuesday and Saturday. Thanks again for tuning in and I will see you soon. Let's give you a try. Mm. Beautiful. Mmm, mm, it's really nice. Another thing I would probably say is to keep these refrigerated for at least eight hours before the serving, just so the cream can soften out the um, oh, the beignet. Hmm, beautiful.